<laughs> Don't abuse your freedom. <laughs> okay, good, huh? Yeah. Hey, new guy? You just recruit him? <laughs> Who? Master. Yeah. Yeah, looking for friends, huh? How come smells like long time no bath or something? <laughs> Too many people, I guess, huh? Lay down. Now. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Uh, kitchen also come already? Uh, I cannot open the lip. Oh, never mind. I have sh some extra here. Mm, you are a good boy, huh? Very obedient boy. I'm very impressed and pleased. Ah, good boy. That's good boy. English in the front? Yes. Yes. Good, good. And the one behind, no English? Huh? Anybody else who understands English can come sit in the front, no? They have translation? Yes. yes. Good. Okay. Ah, you like to sit outside, huh? <laughs> right? Yes. How come last time when it was raining, I don't see anybody outside? <laughs> <laughs> huh? You like it? Depends, huh? Depends on weather, right? Right? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next time you have to take a poncho. <laughs> Cover all over and then just sit there in the rain. <laughs> Sitting in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, mm. uh, the kitchen people, are you here? Yes. Do they raw or half cooked? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Raw. Raw again? <laughs> Yesterday 50% and today you upgrade 200%, huh? <laughs> They like it? Yes. yes. Like raw food? Yes. Ah, very excellent. <laughs> I'm proud of you. So, from today, just everybody will... But the rice is cooked, right? It's not raw, is it? <laughs> rice cooked. <laughs> okay. So everybody has a bowl of rice and a cup of carrot, right? <laughs> you can use a carrot as a light chopstick to push in the rice and... <laughs> so what do you eat? did you eat today? What today? Salad. salad. Just salad? Salad. Yes. 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 Rice? Rice. 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 Anything else? Yeah. Banana. Soy, salt, protein. Banana. Okay, okay. One by one. Just tell me. One person enough. Tell me. Report. One person. Steamed rice. Steamed rice. Good. A salad, cucumber. Salad, uh, cucumber. Uh, red bell pepper. Red pepper, uh, bell pepper. pepper. Zucchini, Zucchini. Also, uh, and, uh, tomato. tomato and uh, so, uh, so protein. Tomato or tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Soy protein? Yes. How, how do they do that? I guess it's just... Uh, how did you do the soy protein? I soak in with the... the water and I marinate it. Uh -huh. uh, with the Sesame oil. Whoa. Soya sauce. Soya sauce. And a little bit chili. Chili. And does it taste good? Yes. 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 No cooked? No. Ah, very good. I didn't think you'd take my advice uh, literally. <laughs> the protein I was thinking is not good not to cook, but if you marinate it long time, huh, the protein is normally cooked already. And if you boil water and soak in it, then it's double cooked, right? And then you can marinate like that. Does it taste good, the soy protein? Yes. yes. Yeah, protein is protein. Tastes good or not, you eat it. <laughs> okay? So that you have enough uh, uh, nutrition. Eh? Yeah. Are you somebody? Somebody like somebody here, huh? Yes. <laughs> Please get out, huh? Oh, you got the wrong way. You went the wrong way. Lower a little bit, lower and then out. Lower and right. Right side, right side, right side. Right. Yep. Out. No, almost. Go. Ayah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good <laughs> be very soon. <laughs> huh? Another, another, another.
Another one? <laughs> you follow the other one, okay? I'm busy now. <laughs> What's going on? Maybe this kind of thing that you like, they smell good? No. Oh, good. Okay. It's a time for bees, you know. They, they run around. Mm. Without bees, we are also in trouble, eh? We will have no pollination and then... Oh, uh, yeah? Pollination? Yeah? Okay. And then we have no food, no fruit. Uh, a lot of fruit and vegetable and food depends on the bees. Eh? Men cannot make all that, no. They are very hard worker. Really? You ate raw today? Yes. Yeah. 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 I was just thinking if tofu you can eat raw, you know? Tofu already made into blocked, that means already cooked, really. Just uh, sometimes people like to fry it, you know, or cook with other vegetables. Otherwise, I eat like that. And not always, of course, but you can. Eh? Just put a little salt or soya sauce and then it's fine, okay? Oh, there are two bees now. <laughs> hey, you guys, hey, be nice. Get out, huh? Okay? Make people nervous, understand? Out, out, to the right side and out. Lower, right and out. All right. Uh, I came to read you a story again. Hmm? <laughs> you like stories? Yes. 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 Stories, quick and simple. According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten directions, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk, or, you know, beautiful cloth, and, and just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. Even bees make trouble in near my my cave, many, many insects, the worm, you know, they came, crawling all over and make me busy. <laughs> okay, this is a story about a Brahmin with a single rope, single rope, one, one pair of clothes, and uh, one rope, <laughs> one rope, yeah. Uh, make haste towards the good. This is the instruction given by the Buddha while, while he was in residence at Jetavana Park. I think it's a deer park, I think. With the reference to the Brahmin little one rope, Kula Ekasataka. Kula <laughs> or Kuya? Okay. His name is Kula Ekasataka, but we, I, we just call him Kula, like Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. <laughs> uh, in, uh, in the dispensation of the Buddha Vipassi, there lived a Brahmin named Maha Ekasataka, or big one rope, <laughs> sounds like Indian. Yeah. The Indian children, when they were born, they give them like one wolf or two wolves or one tiger, three eagles, yeah, or one maybe gecko. <laughs> when the mother gave birth at that time, if uh, they see uh, a wolf came nearby, then they name him one wolf, yeah. Mm. And then uh, if it's two tiger, they name him one tiger. <laughs> I knew one Indian, his name is Thomas One Wolf. <laughs> oh, truly, really, his name is like that. Thomas One Wolf. <laughs> he was very fond of me. <laughs> he 
He wanted to be my thirteen boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, we were, you know, the people who liked to follow me closely. You know, I became like boyfriend. We had nothing to do with each other. Don't even think about that. We just hang around, <laughs> open the door of the car, or clean the floor, something like that. And I also have some girlfriends, so-called girlfriends. I never had anything to do with them either. I don't even know what they're doing right now. After that, we just say goodbye, <laughs> and then he say he 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 said uh, he asked me if I'm single. I, I said yes, but I have twelve boyfriends at home. <laughs> so he said, oh, I can be the thirteenth. <laughs> Good luck number. <laughs> yeah, he was very nice. Uh, he looks like Indian, you know, in America, the native. But he wore jean and all that, and he advised me I should wear some jean as well, <laughs> which I did not follow. <laughs> Very nice people, nice people, yeah. And when he prayed with his people, he went into a tent, you know, just like you have the Mongol tent around, small, uh, just bigger, and they went into the tent, they make a fire and do their ceremony inside. They still do it, you know. Some some Indians still do that. They have their own. Uh, they they say something like, uh, "I'm the one that they predicted they will be coming." <laughs> After they saw the white buffalo, yeah, <laughs> they think the uh, special one is coming. And when and when he saw me, he said his elder told him that is me. <laughs> yeah, but that's it. That's that is the. Uh, just a few sentences and uh, one, one or two, uh, I say meeting. I say that that is the end of the relationship of my, of me and my thirteenth boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't or not even hug, you know. But he, he was a thirteenth boyfriend. He volunteered, <laughs> and he stuck like that. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. Huh? I never saw him again. A very short relationship. Huh? <laughs> It's very cute, very cute. Yeah. We were we met because we were praying for uh, after the fire, big fire in America. We were staying together, you know. We were grouping together, my group and his group, to pray for the, you know, for the fire to subside and for the victims. Yeah, I think you you saw some of that, no? It uh, was captured on video, no? A little bit. It's not much, not much of that. <laughs> relationship. <laughs> so many boyfriends and live alone in a cave, my God. <laughs> what a pity, huh? <laughs> uh, and yeah, some of my girlfriend marry my boyfriend, you know, so <laughs> it's all settled, it's all taken care of, so I don't have to worry about them at all. <laughs> Normally they they all, you know, very seriously like pledging to pledging, right? I mean vowing to take care of me, yeah. Both sides, girl and boy, yin and yang, and then later they take care of each other. So, <laughs> so it seems okay, yeah. Huh? I don't have to take care of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, the same with so many children, huh? Yeah. People heard that I have many boyfriends, so when I say I have many children, they say, "Oh, yeah, of course." <laughs> many children, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if they know what kind of children I have right here, <laughs> right now, <laughs> some blonde, some red hair, and you know, and some uh, <laughs> some uh, uh, I would say gray hair already, no? So I must have been like 300 years old by now. <laughs> if I have such a old children, understand? <laughs> According to that, yeah. And many, many grand, great grandchildren also, eh? so I must be very, very, very old. Yeah, I look young, but I'm old. <laughs> okay. Uh, now this person named Big One Rope, Big, you know, like grand, Big One Rope. Oh, I wonder if he was from Indian, or from India, you know, Native American Indian, <laughs> maybe. They call him Big One Rock, and he it was who was reborn in the present dispensation in uh, Savathi at Kula as 
kula uh, ikasataka. And now, naming little one rope. It was a big one rope, and now a little one rope. I don't know why <laughs> <laughs> he keeps thinking. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, huh? Okay, first he was a maha ekasataka, mean a big rope, big one rope. And now he was born as kula, reborn as kula ekasataka, mean little one rope. I remember, okay? He shrink, no? Nah? Okay, he shrunk. Ah, for kula, uh, ekasataka possessed only a single undergarment. Huh? Cha. I don't think he should come here. No, the police will catch him. <laughs> only one undergarment. Oh. And his wife possessed only a single undergarment. And both of them together possessed only a single upper garment. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, this is a different story, I hope. I hope it's not the one I already told. Yeah, it's different. Okay. Uh, so both of them have just one under undergarment, and then they both share one upper garment. Okay, yeah. So the result was that whenever either the Brahmin or his wife went out of doors, the other had to stay at home. Uh, similar to the story we heard before. One day, an announcement was made that there would be a preaching at the monastery. Uh, will you go to hear the Dharma by day or by night? They asked each other. <laughs> For we do not have enough upper garments between us to go together. The Brahmin wife replied, Husband, I will go in the daytime. So saying, she put on the upper garment and went. The Brahmin spent the day at home. At night he went to the monastery, seated himself in front of the Buddha and listened to the Dharma. As he listened to the Dharma, the five sorts of joy arose within him, suffusing his body. He greatly desired to do honor to the Buddha. But the following thought restrained him. He was thinking. Is the translation okay? Yes? yes. Uh, for everybody, yeah? Good. He was thinking thus, If I give this garment to the teacher, there will be no upper garment left for my wife or myself. Then a thousand Selfish, selfish thoughts arose within him. Then a single believing thought arose within him. Then thought of self arose within him and overmastered the believing thought. Even so did the mighty thought of self cease as it were and bind and thirst out the believing thought. So he's struggling inside himself. I will give it no, I will not. No, I give it. No, I will not. This is a similar story here, right? It's so familiar, no? Yeah. I go see Master. No, I won't. <laughs> yes, I will. No, I won't. No, yes, no. <laughs> yeah. If I go, I have to buy tickets and go on taxi and go on bus and all that. Oh, it's too much hassle. I stay home better. No, I must go. I must go. No, I won't go. No, I must. I must. <laughs> And besides, my husband doesn't like it when I'm not when I'm not at home. Never mind him, I go. <laughs> but, uh, how about my sons? You know, they're too small. Never mind them, I go just a few days, and they won't die. I must go. And then no, 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 I stay home better. No, I have to go. Uh -huh. Yeah? Yes or no? You have this kind of thought. I know that. Okay. And then when you are delayed too long, somebody else booked in, in front of you, and then they went before, and then suddenly the retreat cancelled, and they said, Oh, my God! <laughs> I should have decided before that sister, and then I would have gone already. Oh, my God! I will never do this again. The next time, same thing happened. <laughs> okay. So he was thinking, you know, I will give it, 
No, I won't. No, I will. I will give it, and etc. Said the Brahmin to himself inside. As, th as he thus reflected, the first watch passed, and the second watch arrived. Even then he was not able to bring himself to give the garment to the teacher. So old and tattered like that. Yeah, still cannot part with it. Yeah, of course. You do the same, no? That's the only one they have for husband and wife to go out. You know? To go out not only to listen to the teaching, no, but to go out for, you know, survival. Maybe shopping or buying things, fetching water. Yeah? If given away, then they cannot go. Mm. But why not? I don't understand it. The man just give his undergarment to his wife, right? And then so she has the under and upper wrap around and she go out. And then he do the same. And the wife just stay home, no? I would do that like that. Huh? So there is a solution to any problem, right? <laughs> he, if he had asked me, I would have told him like that. But he did not. <laughs> <laughs> He understood nothing about Supreme Master Ching Hai, so, so I also didn't tell him anything. <clears throat> okay, then the last watch came. Finally, the Brahmin thought to himself, Why, I have been fighting with thoughts of faith and thoughts of self. You know, faith means believe in the Buddha, believing that if he give something to the Buddha, then he will have merit millionfold in return, right? But thinking of his own comfort, né? of him and his family, his wife. So he also have to consider about his survival and comfort as well. Né? You can't blame him, no? already. He has nothing else, just one upper garment for both of them to share. So of course, you know, as human, the mind would make you think for yourself first, since you don't have a lot. If you have a lot, maybe you don't think like that. Hmm? But if you don't have a lot, then of course you do. So we cannot like criticize this guy and thinking why, why he should believe in the Buddha and give that immediately, not even second thought about it, because the Buddha is a Buddha. You know, he will give blessing, merit to him and. And he will enjoy a better life and uh, such and such. No, no. So if he came in the night time and stay over all the way until the last watch like that, meaning he has had initiation. Understand? Yeah. The Buddha would not stay awake all night just to keep talking. Yeah. Every time the Buddha keep preaching, and people stay long like that, meaning they got initiation from the Buddha. Yeah. He took refuge. And being a disciple already, still cannot part with that dirty one garment. But that is nothing unusual. I have many disciples who want to <laughs> strip me of my clothes even. I want this clothes, that clothes, not just any clothes, but that particularly <laughs> pair of clothes, you know. I don't know why. Hmm? It is the opposite. So if no wonder when uh, w last time I read you the story of the a poor couple who has only one, even one piece of cloth for both of them to cover when they go out begging for food, and they offer that to the Buddha, and the Buddha took it and he was feeling very, very, very uh, sorrowful, you know, loving, compassionate, yeah, because that piece of cloth is their survival. This one even have an uh, upper. Uh, under clothes, you understand, under rope, and then upper rope one, but the, the the other couple have only one, and they gave it to the Buddha, and knowing that they're going to die instead, because they have no chance to go out for begging for food anymore. So they accept their death, and offer this only uh, piece of cloth that they had, so that they will, they might have better hope in the future. Yeah, and they believe so much in the Buddha. Therefore, they did that. Okay. And now this one, and these people have not seen the Buddha. The poor couple that I told you before have not seen the Buddha yet. Just seen one of his disciples came to their house, and therefore they had the chance to offer this piece of cloth. And this one already stayed 
first word, second word, and now the third and the last word. I still not be able to decide to give the upper garment or not. Upper garment, not just the whole garment even. Yeah. So, while while he was he was thinking to himself while I struggle within myself fighting with my thoughts of the faith and of the self interest two watches has already uh, passed you know maybe maybe in the night you know there were three watch just just like from one to maybe from ten to twelve is the first first watch they say like that because there will be patron patrol around the the village or the city to take care of people you know police yeah and then change to the second watch I mean the guards will be running around the city yeah to keep watch on the people's safety yeah so now it's the last watch coming already he say ah uh, he said two watches have elapsed if these powerful thoughts of self you know, self comfort, self interest, selfish, increase. They will not permit me to lift up my head from the four states of suffering. At least he still know that. Mm -hmm. I will therefore give my gift. Thus the Brahmin finally overmastered a thousand thoughts of self and followed the lead of one thought of faith. You understood the the language, yeah? Yeah, okay. In the old time, <laughs> the talking, <laughs> meaning <laughs> he cut off thinking about himself, yeah, and he follow his uh, righteous one righteous thought that is to give it to make offering to the Buddha, yeah. because now he's so poor already. If he doesn't make any offering to anyone in charity or give to the good practitioner, then in the future he has nothing anymore. Now he has nothing, future he has even less. Yeah. He should know that. Maybe he, he knew that. That's why finally he stood up. Eh? And taking his garment, he laid it at the teacher's feet, I mean the Buddha, yeah. and thrice cried out with a loud voice, I have conquered, I have conquered. <laughs> okay. <laughs> conquer himself, big deal. But that's a, the most difficult battle, you know? We can conquer everybody else, but to conquer ourselves, wow, this is terrible. It's more than conquering 10,000 people. Mm. So King Pasenadi of Kosala happened to be listening to the Dharma at that time. Yeah. So when he heard that person cry, and he asked his... Uh, subordinate to come and ask him, ask him what he has conquered. Yeah. The king's men asked the Brahmin the question and the Brahmin explained the matter to them, the matter to them. When the king heard the explanation, he said, it was a hard thing to do what the Brahmin did. I will do him a kindness. She immediately have good, good, uh, how I say, good uh, reward for the charity deed that he done. The offering. Actually, the Buddha did him did him a favor when he accepted his stinky old patch, it, you know, upper garment. What can the Buddha do with it? From nothing. Yeah, he has the king's offering him robe of silk and velvet, you know, all kind of things. So he doesn't really need it. But many times, like the last story, you saw that the Buddha does not discriminate. He took the garment of the poor couple the old and started and smell terrible and he took it into his hand and thinking about it, you know, and even pronounced that this gift is the best compared to all the people who had given up to now, even compared to the king and the queen, queen even present at that time. Therefore, the king and queen, after heard the story, they, they feel so, you know, frightened. They took off their own royal garment and, and dispatched they are subordinate to, to go to that couple, poor couple house and give it to them and give them also money and gold and all that and then invited them, you know, escort, escorted to the Buddha's area. Yeah. Immediately the, the good reward, eh? Don't have to even wait for next life. Yeah. 
So the king was thinking he will do him a favor, the man who said he had conquered, <laughs> after he heard all the story. So he caused a pair of garments to be presented to him immediately. Look at that. Huh? Okay. I don't try to do it here. We have... <laughs> We don't have any kings here, <laughs> and I don't give you this. Sorry, <laughs> this is a precious of the <laughs> royal robe. Yeah, this is a royal gray. Okay, <laughs> not royal blue, but royal gray. All right. So then the Brahmin presented these garments also to the Tathagata. I mean the Buddha. One of the title of the Buddha is Tathagata. I mean the first come one. Okay. Then the king doubled his gift again, presenting the Brahmin first with two pairs of garments, then with four, then with eight, finally with sixteen. The Brahmin presented all these garments also to the Buddha. Then the king directed thirty-two pairs of garments to be presented to the Brahmin, but to avoid having it said, uh, to avoid to say that the Brahmin has not kept a single pair for himself, but has given away every pair he received. He said to the Brahmin, Keep one pair for yourself, and give other pair to your wife. So saying, he caused the Brahmin to keep two pairs, and let him give the remaining thirty pairs to the Tathagata alone. So he gave everything. Normally he gave all. And then the king gave double, triple, <laughs> Uh, give it him 32 pair now. But he has to say, okay, keep one for yourself, one for the wife, then you can give the rest. <laughs> because he knew this guy is going to give all to the Buddha again. And then he has to double it to make it 64 pair. <laughs> Too busy. <laughs> okay. The Buddha don't need all this. <laughs> uh, never mind, whatever. You know, it's just a thought that counts, you know. Uh, certainly, just one garment he fights fought with himself to give. And now whatever the, the king gives is more precious, you know, materials. But he has learned, so he give away, give away, give away. So the king was worried he has to keep double his gifts again. <laughs> Busy, the tailor in the court. So probably the tailor cannot make it anymore. Thirty-two pairs in the quickest time, this is all he can have. Né? So the, the, the king said, keep one pair for yourself, keep one pair for your wife, and then you can give the rest. <laughs> hmm. Even had the Brahmin given away what he possessed a hundred times, the king would have met his gifts with equal gift. In a former state of existence, Maha Ekasataka kept for himself two pairs of garments out of sixty-four he received. Kula Ekasataka kept two out of thirty-two. Oh, because he's a smaller, <laughs> the big one gives 64, uh, keep two pair and out of 64, so now this man named Smaller Rob, so bro, he give half of it, <laughs> it's funny, it's coincident but funny. The king gave orders to his men. It was indeed a hard thing to do what the Brahmin did, fetch my two blankets into the presence chamber. They did so. The king presented him with the two blankets, value at a thousand pieces of money. Mm. But the Brahmin said to himself, I am not worthy to cover my body with these blankets. These are suitable only for the religion of the Buddha. Accordingly, he made a canopy from one of the blankets and hung it up in the perfume chamber over the Buddha's bed. Likewise, he made a canopy of the other blanket and hung it up in his own house over the spot where the monk who resorted to his house for alms took his meal. Yeah, so he put it in front of his house, so whenever the monk came, they stood under the canopy. Okay, in the evening the king went to visit the Buddha Recognizing the blanket, he asked him, Reverend Sir. No, the king would not ask Reverend Sir. He would say, Well, honored one, right? Yeah. Uh, who was it that honored you with the gift of this blanket? As a canopy, eh? So, so the Buddha said, Ekasataka. 
thought the king to himself, Even as I believe and rejoice in my belief, even so does this Brahmin believe and rejoice in his belief. Accordingly, I presented to him four elephants, <laughs> four horses, four thousand pieces of money, four women, four female slaves, and four most excellent villages. Oh, now he's a small ruler, not just a small one rock, but small ruler of four villages. Yeah, chief of the four villages. That's almost like a district nowadays, né? four villages. Thus, therefore, did the king cause the Brahmin to be given the gifts of force. Everything is four. Wow. Hmm. I was thinking the other day if I have one elephant would be enough. <laughs> and he would eat all the leaves here so I don't have to keep cutting it. And then if I want to go supermarket, I just ride on him. <laughs> Eco-friendly. <laughs> Eco-friendly vehicle. <laughs> but I don't think he has enough room here. Does he have enough room? Maybe downstairs, huh? <laughs> he walk around in a few square meters. Wow. The monk the monk started a discussion in the Hall of Truth first. Oh, how wonderful was the deed of Kula Ekatasaka. Eskasataka. Yeah. No sooner done than he received all manner of presents of four. As soon as he did a good deed, straight away the fruit thereof was given to him. The Buddha approached and asked the monk, Monks, what are you sitting here now and talking about? When they told him, he said, Monks, had Ekasataka been able to bring himself to give me his gifts in the first watch, he would have received the gift of sixteen. You understood? Because he has delayed until the second or the third watch. Therefore, he received only four elephants, four horses, four wives, etc., etc. If he has been able to part with his upper garment on the first watch already, then he would have received four times more. That's what the Buddha said, yes. Had he been able to do so even in the middle watch, then he would have received the gift of eight, I mean eight elephants, eight elephants, eight women, eight slaves, and a village, etc. Eh? Because it was not until late in the last watch even, not even the, f the beginning of the last watch, but the late, the, the last time of the last watch, almost end, the last watch, that he gave me his gift. He received only the gifts of four. He who does good works should not put away the impose to good that arises within him, but should act on, on it, uh, at the instant, at that instant. A meritorious deed tardily done brings its reward, but tardy is the reward it brings. Yeah, bring less. Therefore, a man should perform a good deed the instant the impose to good arises within him. So saying, he showed the conne connection and teaching the Dharma pronounced the following stanza. Make haste towards the good, mean hurry. Yeah? If you want to do good thing, be hurry, do it quite right away. And check one's mind from evil. If one is slow in making merit, one's mind delights in evil. That is a problem. Not only we not only if we slow in uh, doing good deeds, then we have less merit, but then meanwhile the minds will be occupied with evil thinking as well. So if you think it's a good thing, then do it right away. Occupy yourself with that. Before your mind will have nothing to do and then keep veering to the negative tendency. Yeah? Because the mind, when it has nothing to do, it just do nonsense. Hmm? So better... Be busy, the mind, with good things. That's what the Buddha tried to say. And you think he's right or not right? Yes. Yes. Of course he's right. He's a Buddha. What do you think? <laughs> 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 what for the Buddha is there, yeah? <laughs> okay. So, um, 
All this story is very good for us, huh? To remind me, to remind you of always try to do good things and positive things. Okay? In these few days, I was thinking to myself, how I make this room a little bit more waterproof, <laughs> so you don't have to uh, run inside when it rains like last time. I was just thinking, but because you're here, I don't know how to do it and have it you at the same time without making noise. You know, bang, bang, boom, boom, yeah? The nails and the screw, I will make a lot of noise. I was thinking, I was thinking like that, that we, we could buy this uh, very clear plastic, yeah. But I was thinking maybe, I also delay, you know, <laughs> like, like this guy. I was thinking maybe let you, let us finish this until the end of the month, yeah. And then maybe you are able to go to, but the end of the month is not yet the end of the, the inspection, so I don't know when you can go there. But I was thinking the end of the month is uh, less people coming, yeah. We just stop because uh, October will be cold. I don't know if I can let you sit here. And then without feeling guilty because <laughs> it might be very cold. But you probably didn't have, don't have to sit here, right? You can sit inside. Yeah? October maybe, uh, maybe not just cold but rain. Yeah, it rain. If we don't really rain-proof this area, you cannot sit outside at all. The water will be running everywhere. Understand? You know, wet your blanket and the cushion. Then, uh, but you like to sit outside, right? Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, because somebody told you sit outside is good for you, right? <laughs> and you always listen to that person. That is a problem. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to tell you a long time ago, because I'm worried you just leave your home and just sit out on the, the street all the time, and the police, the police will come and ask, and then, and then you will say, oh, my master say that. <laughs> Understand? Yeah. yeah, so what to do? You think we can do it while you are here? Huh? The other day when it rained, I was very, very worried. Yeah. Mm. We can do it, but it takes time. It takes time to um, to put up some frame, you know, some uh, scaffolding, scaff, scaffolding. What? I forgot this name. Scaffolding. 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 Yeah, yeah. Why wood? Huh? Mm. And then we can uh, nail this. Uh, clear plastic, uh, hard plastic on it, and it will be more permanent, yeah. Master, we can do it in, in the, the break time, like uh, uh, in the morning. When they're sleeping and they don't hear nothing, you mean? No, no, no. <laughs> While we're eating, not by about what, two oh. hours a day, something oh, like Okay, can do, yeah. Now first we have to measure all this. I don't have to buy the material. And, uh, <clears throat> not always you can buy so much at one time. Not in one country. <laughs> not in the surrounding. Maybe have to go far in different shops, different area, and get some. Have to measure and have to buy wood. You know, study wood. Those that last in the rain, treated wood, and they have make a, a a frame roof first, and then take some time. I need some people who know how. But if, if later you don't come back again, then I won't need this. This is what also, you know. Later you will go to SMC, it's more comfortable there, no? Yeah. And you will not like to come back here anyway. <laughs> what do I do with all this? I was thinking if after you left, yeah, then we can do it here first. If we still need it, you know. Mm. Right now it's still okay, no? October will begin to be cold. Maybe not every day, but uh, often, mostly it will be cold. Even with the roof like that, if we don't want cold, then we have to cover everywhere. You know, it's like a room then. <laughs> then it's not outdoor anymore. <laughs> yeah. 
So I still think, you know what, what's the best to do? Mm. Any idea? Better canopy for you, no? Huh? I better put the blanket up and then <laughs> the king will come and give me four blankets. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so that's the end of the story. <coughs> it's time to go to eat. <coughs> you like it here better or you like um, SMC better? <laughs> no, I mean later, later. Yeah. I mean later when when we can officially come back there. You like it there better or not? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Why? <laughs> huh? Why? Here better. Over there has more facility, you no, know. Here's more toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe less people. Nice. Less people here? <laughs> what? What's the reason? Surrounding is very nice. Yes. Yes. The surrounding is very nice. Surrounding very nice? Oh, they're not nice. That's a multi-million euro. <laughs> multi-million euro house. Nothing to do with us. Here is only 800,000 euros. <laughs> Cheap, the cheapest house you can buy around here. But a beautiful view, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah. Why you like it here? Very personal, very close. Ah, very personal, very close. <laughs> Close in or close to me? <laughs> close to you. <laughs> Over there, not close. I'm no. living next door only. <laughs> huh? Every day I squeeze and... Uh, squeeze in where? Everywhere. <laughs> uh, too crowded. Too crowded yeah, because yeah. people, they come like crazy. I, we, we could limit that. Then you like better? Like we can, uh, can stop the, the flow, you know? This is not my who, who leads so many people come in like that. Imagine such a small area and a thousand something people. And they intend to bring in thousand every day, they say that. <laughs> I mean, ev every week or something, huh? <clears throat> Here, you like it better? Yes. Sitting on a rough floor like this? Yes. Hey. <laughs> Crazy people. <laughs> Over there, at least you have many toilets and, and many rooms. It was because a lot of people, but if we don't let a lot of people come in, would you prefer there too? Yes. Mm? No, no, haven't, haven't tried. <laughs> haven't tried that. Oh, no. A lot of people go there just in uh, off-season, you know. Without a retreat, they just come. Mm? And you can have a choice of room. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Every day of the week, different room. Because they came sometime maybe only ten people, you know, four people. Mm. Well, I don't know, okay? Yeah. Here, maybe a little more quiet, huh? Yes. But in winter, it's also, they are also quiet, no? Have you been there in winter? Yes, I did. Yeah? Also quiet, no? Yes. Yeah, so? And you go there in winter? Mm. <laughs> Over there is nicer, no? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> this is just a small farmhouse, no? The people who live here before, they, they are farmers. They live on the land. If we harvest it, you know, we could even sell them. And it, it, it costs a lot. These are centenary trees. If you, want, if you buy one of these outside, sometimes it costs a f two thousand. You know, mm. they cut it and they plant it in a, a pot. They cut all the, they trim them all, and then you buy them and plant in your garden. People buy them to plant one or two in their front yard for 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 decor, you know, decoration. Yeah, and here I have hundreds of them. <laughs> Dower and here and upper there. Yeah, I just let them grow. But before they live off the land, you know, they have, you see, lemon trees, orange tree, a uh, little kumquat, and they have, uh, they have kiwi, they have um, avocado, and cherries, and uh, apricot, and all that, and, and grapes. Just now, I, I don't have enough people to take care, and I, I keep going, and I hardly live here. I bought it before we have SMC, yeah?
guy had nowhere else. And I was thinking it's a big garden, maybe we can gather here sometimes. But then we had SMC better, many rooms. And but that was before, long time ago, when Europe, Europe is just a handful of disciples, it's enough for them. You know, but now, uh, forget it. <laughs> Not just European, everybody else come, and then, of course, it's small. Hmm? Hmm. Uh. <laughs> you like it here better, huh? Crazy, no. <laughs> just because now you cannot get there, right? When, when was it too crowded? When? I was in SMC in 2013. 2013? Was I there? I was there? Oh, the yes, last course. last retreat? Oh. Oh. At that time only maybe eight hundred people only. <laughs> I heard at this time over one thousand, I don't know how. Huh? <laughs> yeah, oh one thousand something. And the office say they will continue. <laughs> 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 but it's also good for me there. Then I can see everybody, you know, in a few 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 times and it's done. I hear only maybe Maybe how many people we have today? Seventy, sixty? Maybe seventy, you know. Seventy, eighty maximum. It cannot stay more than this. Yeah. Everything okay? Okay. Yeah. Can shower also? Yes. Yeah. Can wash your clothes? No. No washing? <laughs> no, no. Take it now. Wash anymore? <laughs> Every uh, Wednesday. Yesterday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday they bring the clothes to go outside wash in the washing machine. But the people who stay short term they don't do it, right? Oh, I see. No wonder the smell is uh, really <laughs> <laughs> wow, extraordinary. <laughs> Let me see. If I sit down here, we I smell or not? <laughs> no. Very less. <laughs> Very little. If you higher, the, the smell come up because of the heat, you know. Got the body heat, everything. Uh, a heart goes up. The cold air stay downstairs. Mm. Okay then. If you need to wash any clothes urgently, you can give it to them. Oh, uh, oh, cannot. Can. This is for long term people, you know, like. Um, like uh, the kitchen staff and video staff, they stay longer, longer than you. The thing is, in SMC, some people can stay longer, right? Or not? Yes. Last time, how long you stay? Me? Yeah. I'm afraid I stay for two nights only. Only two nights, and because you complain? <laughs> no, I, I, I meant to stay, stay longer, but I, I got out. Why? I saw you. <laughs> you saw me, and then you got out. Huh? One yeah. time enough, right? <laughs> okay, then now you could go already. <laughs> so it's three, four times already. It's enough for you for four years. This is unbelievable. What do you mean unbelievable? Every day. <laughs> Every day? Over there, no? I don't know. I, I, I was too crowded. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of people, they stay the same, you know, even crowded. Yeah, they, they love it, they love it. Huh? They love it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Okay, I did not ask people to come. They just come a lot. I don't know. They just come. <laughs> I don't know. The office didn't manage well or something. So, but uh, a lot of people they stay very long over there because over there can stay longer here and they cannot because they have to rotate. You know? Mm. Here, you how how long you stay? Five, 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 five days, including come and go. Or? Yes. So three days kind of, right? Seven days. Five days total. Four days. One day come, one day go? No? No, no? seven days. Seven days. Four, five, five days. Okay, full five days. Ah. So they come one day, go one day, that's seven days. Yes. Right? Yes. You cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you said five days. <laughs> okay. Because there are a lot of people still waiting, that's why, you know? And a small place is the one disadvantage. Over there is a less a limited on your on your in your sojourn, on your days. But here they have to. Hmm? Okay then. We'll see what we can do.
Even if I put roof over here, still only this much people can stay only, you know? We cannot, <laughs> we cannot make it any bigger. Hmm? No. <laughs> no, even if we say extend a little piece over there, it's still maybe ten more people can sit. Not much. <laughs> and it's too near the street if we extend it, you know? The street is right there, you see? Where the green canvas is? I don't have a lot of room. Why don't you stay at your home? Meditate is the same. Master always visit you. Huh? Why you have to come? See Master. You didn't, eh? Just because you didn't see at home, right? Huh? Anybody see Master at home? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes? Sometimes. Sometimes it's enough. <laughs> You know how many people in the world don't even see any sometimes or any time at all. Okay then, I, but you're welcome, of course, ne? You're welcome. I'm glad to see you. It's just my house is so small. <laughs> it's a farmhouse. I'm glad we can accommodate so many people. <laughs> it's not it's not bad already, huh? But uh, five days good enough for you? Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Better than two days, right? <laughs> Good quality. Huh? Good quality. Good holiday? Quality. Good quality. Okay, I'm glad you like it. Okay, and you can go and eat again your raw food. Is cooked. <laughs> the raw food is cooked, right? <laughs> I was just joking yesterday, you really let them eat raw? Half raw. And they like it? Yes. No problem? No. I'm just worried you're not used to it. You know, at home you cook, you know. But uh, good huh? five day rolls, good for you, no? Yeah. Or no? <laughs> I don't know. You don't eat? <laughs> you did not eat? Uh, I, I eat bread and soup every day, but. Here they I don't have soup? <laughs> but at home I don't eat raw either. Oh, okay. Uh, mm. Yeah, maybe some days raw here is good for your body, no? Try it, yeah? Mm. The raw food has more light than the cooked food. I mean light, really light. You know, you can see, if you can, you see all the things have light, yeah, when they are raw. Even raw meat has light eh, compared to the dead, to the cooked meat. But of course we don't eat that, mm. yeah. Okay. Well, then go enjoy your salad. <laughs> salad is just a, mm, a by dish, right? Mm. You have rice, yeah? Or noodle, right? Okay. Okay, how many people like to eat raw rice hen? Check, check it out. Half, half. Huh? Half, half. Oh, man, no, half, half, no. Most of people like. Okay, then. The majority wins. Okay. Uh, whoever like to eat raw food, then eat raw food. Whoever don't like to eat raw food, then don't eat any raw food. <laughs> <laughs> Have choice. Eh? We don't force you. <laughs> okay. Uh, whatever, okay? Uh, is it more convenient this way? Yes. No, I mean, in the kitchen? Yeah. Mm. So, what did you do? You make salad or you just give them the carrot? <laughs> Hmm? Huh? You chop uh, all kind of vegetables. Oh, you chop still? Yeah. And mix them? No, we one kind of one. Oh, okay, and every you pick what they like. Oh, why don't you get a carrot now? <laughs> <laughs> what for? They have teeth. <laughs> yeah, chew it slowly. Good for, you. Good for the muscle, huh? No? Okay, do whatever you like. Whatever and they enjoy is good. I don't mean always have to be raw, okay? Uh, but uh, raw food also good for you. If you can eat it, it's good. If you cannot, then then you don't eat. <laughs> There's always cook, cook rice. <laughs> you go home. <laughs> sure, sure. Soup is better than master. Go home. <laughs> okay, guys. Take care, huh? Mm. Can I go and have a look at the kitchen, see what they cook? <laughs> How raw they cook? <laughs>
Daddy. And the long the better taste, right? Okay. All right, ciao, ciao. You have a day. I'm glad you like my house. <laughs> we love your house, Master. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you like it. At least uh, a lot of oxygen, eh? Yes. And less people is surrounding, surrounding by forests and mountains, a lot of trees. Yes. So we have a lot of oxygen. Yes. And no screaming, swimming pool children. At least. <laughs> so we're okay here. Yeah. Yes. For now, eh? Yes. For now. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad it's not raining and the weather is so fine. Yeah. I'm glad. Yes. No? No? Okay, good. Drink. I know that you let you know. No. Mm. 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 Yeah, you like that, huh? Look at you go out and collect it. Okay, I'm gonna get you what you want now, huh?